गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज वेलकम टू आर ब्लॉग एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अ न्यू प्लेस दैट इज अयोध्या हिल्स एंड इट इज इन पुरुलिया डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो द रूट दैट वी आर टेकिंग एंड आई मीन वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू टेक इज अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स एंड इट पासिस थ्रू झारखंड इट्स ऑलरेडी फाइव थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग and today is i guess 16th of feb hello guys so this is the saman that we are carrying we are carrying see one of these big bags so uh, this traveler bags and we are carrying one duffel and small bags some water bottles and other food stuff so and a oh, and laptop bag as well laptop bag also mm. so yeah so this is the setting it's 5:30 and we are very excited and this so time we'll be taking our car yeah we are going in our car we'll be driving so, near about 350 km okay so chalo let's go i think people have already people are on the roads they are walking they are trek- taking a morning walk it's it's almost 6:30 6:30 in the morning now and we are at the second hugli bridge or known as the popularly known as the vivekananda setu so today we are supposed to take the bombay road and we'll be driving towards kharagpur from kharagpur i think we have to go towards ghatshila uh, but i think before near about 10 kilometers before ghatshila we have to turn for purulia so we'll be passing through jharkhand as well what we have heard is that uh, this route passes more or less through the national highways mostly through the national highways that's why we'll be taking this route itself so the time we we checked on google maps it was showing around uh, 7 hours 30 minutes so we started at around 6 we may reach around 2 o'clock i think yes 2 to 2:30 yes that if, will if be we, if we drive well and we are approaching our first toll plaza for the day so it's just at the other end of this bridge of this second hugli bridge so we are a bit low on fuel also we'll have decided to make it a full tank here we need to pay only 10 rupees i guess Yes. So we are through, and now we'll be driving to our Satra Gachi. We are refueling right now. So this is the final status: two two one zero, and it's twenty liters. If we go straight up that flyover, then we'll be going towards Varman or Delhi, and but we have this time taken the. Uh, left route the way towards the left is popularly known as the bombay road yeah it's a very foggy morning yes it's already 7 am in the morning but it feels uh, like it's 5 we are um, approaching a toll plaza in 1 km yeah that's the dulagar toll plaza uh. so here we are having our first meal of the day that is the breakfast and we have stopped at a hotel near kolahar and see we are having puri and sabzi along with you will have tea also so we are passing through the rupnar and river and we had taken we had visited this rupnar and river while visiting devulti to abhi dikha rahe hain yahan pe 5 hours and 53 minutes actually चाह रहे थे जितना जल्दी पहुंचने को चाह रहे थे थोड़ा हम लोग शेड्यूल से वी आर बिट बिहाइंड शेड्यूल फ्रीजन इज एंजॉइंग अ बिट वी कैन ड्राइव द कार एट अ स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड वी आर करेंटली एट देबरा देबरा टोल प्लाजा एंड वी हैव टू फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स मोर टू गो We are on NH16. We are traveling through NH16. Yeah. NH49. Exactly. Sorry, NH49. Uh, 
so the exact place we are not sure and we don't want to know also such is the beauty of this place there are tall not very tall but beautiful yellowish green trees on both sides of the road the roads are quite deserted so here we are we have already driven for about 195 kilometers from kolkata and we are at a place we know not where so we have taken a left turn and there is a beautiful dhaba over here it's known as the vigsan dhaba so we need a tea break right now so shrijan has already driven for 100 kilometers i have driven for 95 yeah. it's 195 so we need to stretch a bit this is located at a very beautiful place no it is actually adjacent to a petrol pump yes there is a petrol pump also So we have already driven for 200 kilometers now, and again we have exchanged our seats. Now Shrijan is behind the wheels, so and we are passing through Jharkhand right now. This is the Jamshedpur road. Uh, if you drive straight through this road, you'll be reaching Jamshedpur. This area is known as Bahara Gora, as informed to us by the guy at the Dhaba. So. Jagannathpur as well. Yes. So we'll be driving. I think up till Ghatsila. From Ghatsila, we need to make a turn to enter into West Bengal again. We are approaching another toll gate. इटा कौन toll gate अच्छा? झारखंडलास These are not that densely populated areas. These are very sparsely populated areas. This place is known as Chorinda in Jharkhand. The road is more or less clear, uh, very less traffic. But the problem is that there are cattle at places goat on the road itself. Goat, goat. Yeah, mainly goats. It's in the front. I do not think the camera can capture, but uh, there are. Certain hill ranges or hillocks or tillas. So this road passes through jungles, and it's a meandering road, meandering tarmac, brother. The very vibe of this place feels like Purulia, Bakura, and the Eastern Ghats section or the Chotnagpur Plateau region. It's full of forests. In between, there are beautiful villages, and surrounded by hillocks. Finally, it was written in a Hindi signboard at the side of the road that Ghati section Pradesh. This means that we are entering the Ghat section. So now we are seeing that we are driving in the hills. We are driving in the hills. So we are not going to the hills. We are going to the hills. We are going to the hills. We are going to the hills. टू व्हीलर ड्राइव नहीं किया राइड किया है तो टू व्हीलर बहुत चला है लेकिन फोर व्हीलर नहीं चला है यस सो ऑल्दो ये वैसा हिल्स नहीं है नहीं फिर भी ना ऊंचा हिल्स नहीं है इसका हाइट कम है इन कंपैरिजन टू नॉर्थ बंगाल का जो हिल्स है या फिर उत्तराखंड हिमाचल यस वो बहुत सारे हम्स है यहाँ पे बहुत सारे तो ये ब्रिज आप देख सकते हो काफी नैरो ब्रिज है ये आई कैन सी द रेंजेस और द हिलॉक्स राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी लॉट ऑफ हम्स एक्चुअली तो यहाँ पे हम लोग खुद बहुत सतर्क रहे हैं आप अगर आते हो तो इधर सावधानी से No, which is fine actually. The humps are justified because yeah. more or less this is a hilly drive, and again there are bends. There are more or less sharp bends, and the area is a forest area, so there may be animal crossings, and in between there are villages where there are schools as well. So I think it's a justified job to make humps over here, or to put more humps See, over the, here. See, abhi yahan pe. पहाड़ का आउटलाइन दिख रहा है धीरे धीरे हाँ धीरे
धीरे धीरे ये विजिबल होते जा रहा है अभी लगभग 80 किलोमीटर रिमेनिंग है ओके सो हियर पुरुलिया इज 76, सिक्स बंदवान सिक्सटीन एंड झारग्राम इज 97, सेवन सो विल बी प्रोसीडिंग टूवर्ड्स पुरुलिया थ्रू द बंदवान रोड अभी लग रहा है पहाड़ वाला फीलिंग आ रहा है धीरे धीरे नहीं बिल्कुल वैसा ही लग रहा है मेरे चेहरे पे अब पता नहीं ऑटोमेटिकली एक मुस्कान सा आ गया है बहुत दिन बाद हम लोग कोई पहाड़ में आए हैं वो भी अपना गाड़ी लेके खुद हाँ। ड्राइव करके घर से यस उसका फीलिंग ही अलग है 300 किलोमीटर के आसपास हम लोग ऑलमोस्ट आई थिंक 300 नहीं 275 275 सेवेंटी किलोमीटर ऑलमोस्ट हम लोग ड्राइव कर लिए सो आई थिंक वी हैव एंटर्ड बेंगाल बिकॉज द पेंट्स एट द साइड ऑफ द रोड एट द रेलिंग इट्स वाइट एंड ब्लू सो आई थिंक इट्स आई थिंक दिस इज बेंगाल राइट नाउ पूछ लेते हैं Yeah, it's Bengal. It's written Bengali everywhere. For sure, it's Bengal. अच्छा, इट झारखंड दर नहीं ना इट एक ही Bengal. आई डे Bengal पड़ेगा. पड़ेगा अच्छा ना? हाँ. कुत्ता तो की Bengal. अच्छा उन्हें सिर्फ बोर्ड आता सिलो ना. अच्छा. रोड़े रही है. और जब तक पहाड़ कौन दूर है बता दे? जब तक पहाड़ एक हम तक बोल लाम पूजा तो बोल लाम पल्ले ले मोटा बो Ayodhya hills uh, we faced a problem actually the route that was shown by google initially was uh, was an incorrect route so we had to drive for an extra i guess uh, uh, 12 13 kilometers we lost around 40 45 minutes yes. for that so we <laughs> reached earlier the time is now around 145 or so However, it is all a part of the journey. So, covering the last stretch up to Ayodhya Hills, this stretch is beautiful. एक के बाद एक पहाड़ दिख रहा है अभी. Right. तो भी अच्छा है हम लोग का. खाली 12 किलोमीटर अभी बाकी है सो वी आर इन द अयोध्या हिल्स एरिया एंड देर इज सम कंफ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग द रोड्स बट आई थिंक वी हैव फाइनली कम टू part where the roads are good because just uh, back 1 km or so the road was very bad but here the road is good i think here this will be a proper road which will take us to the uh, resort in which we are staying so this is the view nice view so in our car we are coming for the first time in our car Nice, nice. So, I thought the because the 
part of the road was bad i thought the entire stretch might be bad down, down. Uh, yeah so there is a beautiful water body as well there i think that is a lower dam ha uh, that is a dam actually below there are a lot of tourist vehicles i think people have come for picnic yes. most probably because there is a place below i think is that this hills doesn't have railings ha ah. which we do ha ah. ah, ha no it's okay this is a proper hill drive ha ah. so we are at the last stretch uh, i think just 10 kilometers more to go and the last stretch will be driven by srijan our resort mm -hmm. for the day is located at the hill top itself mm -hmm. let's see and here is a beautiful dam built over here it's quite steep mm. and one thing to be kept in mind is that uh, on both sides of the roads they have cut drains so we need to be very careful because if you concentrate too much on the roads you may be getting your vehicle into the drain so i think this is a tunnel i guess uh. this is a tunnel i think for the electricity department or the hydro hydro power project yeah, yeah. yes this is the upper dam uh, we are at the top of ayodhya hills already but as i had been informed earlier as well uh, by people who had visited this place uh, that the top of the hill would be just like a plain area but this is actually a hill and we are at the top of it basically these are plateau regions mm. table top mountains so how do you find the hill drive great excellent excellent four more kilometers to go so uh, this is our resort guess it won't be that bad hope yeah, so no, but won't. the road to it is a bit bad it's on it's nice quite nice the final stretch is also uphill inside the hotel mm finally so this is our resort so hello guys finally we have arrived at our hotel after a tiring ride the hotel is quite good the ambience is very nice and the views are excellent we are going to show you the views and the look and feel of the hotel right now so we have two chairs over here ac a big bed the size of the bed is quite big king size bed Yes, mirror, TV, and a cupboard. This is the washroom. It has a geyser facility as well. And now let's go to the balcony. It has a balcony as well. So let's go to the balcony. This is the front view. The that's the gate. That that place is the gate. And that's where we came from. And we have selected the budget option. If you show that building, yes, that uh, building is a having the super deluxe or deluxe. Room. Yes, super deluxe room. Super these deluxe. these are the deluxe rooms ah, that we are staying in, and that's the super deluxe room. And actually, it has a beautiful lawn in front of the yeah, hotel itself. You can itself. have your food outside also. Yes, we'll be having our lunch yes, there yes, itself. Yes, I'm excited for it. And we have a car parked over here. There is a staircase as well. If you go down, so this is located almost at the hilltop itself. 